Good morning, everybody on YouTube. Steve here, Rake and Profit, rakeandprofit.com. Coming back to you guys with another live show. And the topic of today's show is seven Amazon sellers making $5,000. Whoa, profit. hello. Sorry about that. Again, the topic of the show is seven Amazon sellers making $5,000 a month uh, on Amazon FBA. So essentially, the concept of the show is going to be me. Uh, utilizing the Jungle Scout software. And again, if you guys do enjoy this software, I'm going to show you how to use it. You can see the first link down below in the description if you want to check it out. And there's two different parts of this software just to kind of give you some context to how I'm doing this. But I'm going through, and I already went through, and I found seven Amazon sellers, right? Seven products that are selling $5,000 worth per month on Amazon. So essentially, the goal of this show is to share with you different product ideas and, and products that are selling to not only motivate you to get you, but to get you thinking about maybe building your own private label brand. You know, I've been making a lot of videos. I've been bringing on a lot of experts and there's a lot of people who, you know, they love the treasure hunt. They love the thrifting. Uh, they love going to garage sales and Goodwill and savers. And I love it too. But there's a lot of people out there who are looking for more scalable business models, businesses that allow them to travel, businesses that allow them to work from home, various things like that. And, you know, people are looking to diversify their income. So I want to share with you this this concept of making money on Amazon FBA. Uh, and a lot of these products are going to be private label products. Well, essentially all products out there on the market are private label to an extent, uh, but some are kind of like um, under the radar, right? They're not popular brands like Nike or, or Reebok. It's these kind of um, just everyday normal people like you and I, white labeling, private labeling these products and building brands. So I'm going to share with you guys these, uh, these seven products that sold. And uh, I'm going to share with you guys how to use a Jungle Scout. So we have Gene Talbot saying, good morning. Hello, Gene. We got uh, Nicole. What's up? Hello. Hi. CT Whale, man. You are killing it, CT Whale. It was nice chatting with you through email the other day. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. So maybe you're international. Uh, Jake Oman S says, love your show. Learning a lot. I'm glad you're learning a lot. That's what it's all about. Good morning. Hey, Amy. What's up, Mommy Articles? Good to see you guys. So um, let's just jump right into it right now. Let me share my screen with you guys. So give me one moment. Okay, I'm just sharing my screen and you should be able to see my screen right now. Leave a comment in the comments right now saying, I'm ready to learn. I want to know if you're ready to learn, right? I'm ready to learn in the comments and that's going to let me know that you can hear me and that you can see my screen. Okay, so let me just uh, take a look at the comments to make sure it's good to go. What's up, Angela? Stalking me. I'm stalking you too. That was creepy. And I'll definitely go through and uh, answer some of your guys' questions. I see some questions coming in. I'm going to put it off for a couple minutes because I just want to keep this video on topic, but I will come into the comments. It's only going to be maybe a 10 minute segment going through these products. So, okay. So you can see my screen right now. I am using the Jungle Scout web app right now. So there's two things that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. It's the web app, which is going to allow me to find the products initially based on specific categories and criteria such as price, estimated sales, reviews, rating, weight, listing quality, a whole bunch of different factors. So this is the Jungle Scout web app, and this is a monthly subscription. I think I pay like $39 a month for this. And then there's going to be a secondary part of Jungle Scout, which is going to be the Google Chrome extension, which is all the way up at the top of my screen, which I'm going to show you how to use once I click into the Amazon listing. So this software, the web app, is great for product research. If you're looking to get into private label or wholesale and you want to build your own brand, for example, you know, go to Stop and Shop or go to maybe your local hardware store, they have their their name of the store, right? Personally branded for certain products. And if you ever wondered how do certain grocery stores have their own products? Like, are they making it? Like, what's the deal with that? Essentially what they're doing is they're going to manufacturers, like I'm going to be sharing with you. And they're finding items that aren't trademarked that are you now that anyone's able to sell and putting their own private label on it. So, um, these seven Amazon sellers are actually making $5,000 a month from these products. Now, that's not going to be all profit. It's gross. I don't know what they're paying. I don't know their fees, essentially. But you could actually use this software to find out a lot of that information. So um, this is the web app. What I actually did is I went into a bunch of categories 
and I was looking for products that were selling between 15 to 65 with at least 100 sales per month, uh, less than 150 reviews, and a 4.5 star rating or less, which would give me essentially a chance to improve upon the item, which is really important. If you're going to private label products, from what I've been learning, because I've been going through this process, you want to find products that are not only selling well and already have a market, but products that have room for improvement. So that could be improving, you know, maybe creating a lot, right? That could add some value or improving the material to make it more stronger, or sturdier, or making it a different color or creating better packaging. You want room for improvement. So you can actually find products that are meeting your criteria, but maybe are selling really well, but could can have some improvement. So like, for example, I could put this down to like a 3.8 star and find products that really need improvement or a 2.8. So anyways, um, these are all products that are coming up within this criteria right here. These are all products that are that are selling uh, really, really well. So, for example, this this lot of six 38 ounce clear plastic wide uh, large mouth jars with lids, they're actually selling two thousand five hundred and ten dollars worth per month on average, uh, with an estimated one hundred fifty seven sales. There is a rank of 17,000, only 23 reviews and an average of a 4.4 star, weighs 1.19 pounds. And then you can actually see the fees that are that are being hit with this. So for example, this has a $6.58 fee. So, you know, they're left with about $8 minus cost of goods, minus shipping. So their profit might be, who knows, two or three dollars on on this or less. I'm not really sure, but that's the cool thing about this web app is you could find products that are selling and essentially sell the same product and just improve upon it and add more value, whether it's a lot or improving the quality of it or doing something different to differentiate. So, um, I found a bunch of products. Let's get into the first product that I found. So again, this is the jungle scout web app. You can check out the link below in my description and, um, you can check it out for yourself, but this is the web app. That's part one. That's the product research. That's what it's important for. Now, here's an item that I found that was interesting. This is a um, a rat trap, and I think it's a lot of 12, I want to say. Uh, so here's the title, 12 Victor Easy Set Rat Traps, Victor Rat Snap Trap Quick Trapping of Rats, M326. Um, definitely a lot of good keywords in there. And um, if I go up here to the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. If I click on that, it's actually going to bring up a bunch of information. It's going to bring up the the price of the item, which is twenty three fifty eight. The category it's in patio and lawn. The rank, which is three thousand seven hundred seventy nine. Estimated sales. The revenue, which pretty surprisingly, this is selling six thousand four hundred fifty eight dollars worth per month. And I do want to say. I've heard rumors that Jungle Scout is spot on with some of the things, and then I've heard that sometimes it's off. So, you know. With any software out there, you want to take it with a grain of salt, right? You want to track these products over a period of time and do your research because these numbers could be off. They could be running uh, pay-per-click advertising or some type of promotion or a giveaway, which could be uh, affecting these, these analytics and these numbers that I'm reading. So you obviously want to do more research. You don't want to take this as fact. Um, so I just kind of want to put that disclaimer out there, but this has 40 reviews, 4.5 rating and uh, $6,458 worth per month rat trap. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. This again is the Google Chrome extension. So if I was to go in, for example, this is a great way to check the competition. If I was to type in rat traps, uh, I see large coming up. Let's see what happens. Rat traps, large. I would see all the rat traps that are actually coming up on the market for that specific keyword. So what I can do is I could use this 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 Jungle Scout Chrome extension to see what's going on with the competition. What are, what are the competition pricing these items at on Amazon? What are the ranks? What are the estimated sales? And one thing I've noticed is rat traps. Look at all the sales that are coming in: three fifty seven, five forty, one twenty four, two seventy nine, and that's per month. There is a large market for rat traps, and the cool thing is. Some of these guys are selling really well and they don't have a ton of reviews. I mean, 16 reviews, 5,500, 21 reviews, 2,400. Uh, there are some big dogs coming in with 451 reviews, 15,000 plus. But that's the cool thing about private label and selling on Amazon. You get yourself a product that's quality. You get it ranked through keywords and keyword research. You get a bunch of reviews on it. And over time, you build this powerful asset that just can make you a ton of money, which is really cool. Now, again, I'm not telling you to go out and private label rat traps. There's a lot of different things that you have to do 
uh, in order to decide if you want a private label or product. But just a cool, interesting item right there. Uh, another item I found were, were these 20 LEDs, um, warm white wine bottle lights. So let's check out this product right here. It looks like it comes with a battery. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it's a very interesting private label product. It looks like a cork that has a light in it. So obviously with the, with the, uh, the Christmas time season coming around the corner, this could be definitely an interesting product to, uh, to private label right here. It's just, it's funny how some of these products they just sell. If I go up to the jungle scout Chrome extension, it looks like this is selling for, let's take a look. Wow. It's got a 1,227 rank, 616 sales in the last 30 days. It's estimated to be with $12,000 plus revenue with only 46 reviews right there. The brand is Elite choices. So that's definitely pretty cool right there. Definitely making some money. I mean, I can't imagine how expensive these would be to, uh, oh, wow, look at that, to create. Let me take a look in the comments, see what's going on. We got Amy Delmont saying, hit the like button. Yeah, let's see how many likes we can get right now. If we get a bunch of likes, I tell you right now, if we get, let's say if we get 100 likes, I'm giving away something for free. I don't know what it is, but I like giving away stuff for free, if you guys haven't noticed. The affiliate link is below the video. Yes, that is my affiliate link. So if you do decide to get Jungle Scout, you can definitely go through it. If you don't want to go through my link, that's cool. To be honest with you, I don't really care. Um, I just want to bring value to you guys. So if you want to go through that, you can do that. It won't cost you any extra money. But definitely check out Jungle Scout with or without me. Um, it's a great product for sure. Natural Mom says, I'm at work. Can't wait to work from home. I need more coffee. I actually got a cup of coffee right now. And uh, hold on, I'll sip it for you. Oh, it's good. Go get yourself some coffee. Great content, Rakin. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mommy article says, I was going to buy Jungle Scout, but wanted to understand why I needed it. So this video will be awesome. If you have an affiliate link, drop it for me below. So people want to go through the affiliate link. I appreciate that. And you want to know what? That's the cool thing about creating free videos like this. Because I know a lot of you guys have YouTube channels or want to create one. You can create these videos and really help people make a difference and get paid through affiliate marketing by recommending products that are actually good products. And that's the key. Um, make sure that if you ever promote anything, that it's a good quality product. I actually met Greg Mercer. He's the, the CEO. He's the founder of Jungle Scout. We met in uh, Fort Lauderdale. He's just a phenomenal guy. And he's not only a, a software creator, right? But he runs a private label business and is very, very successful. So just a, just a great software. Here's another item that sold. This is, uh, and I'll read the title, Lovely Pet Paw Prince Fleece Blankets for Dogs, Cats, and Animals. 108 reviews, and it looks like they have a lot of six blankets for dogs and cats or really any animal right there. Now, I'm not sure how they're making money on this unless they're getting these blankets for maybe a buck each. So let's just say they're getting them for a dollar each. They're going to be in it for $6. Let's see what the fees are going to be on this item. So actually, I don't think the fees, I don't know if they show the fees on the Jungle Scout Google Chrome extension. Does it show fees? Let me see. Nope, that just clicks in. It might only be, they might only show the fees on the, um, the Jungle Scout web app. So I don't think it shows fees here. What are this? Keywords, keyword trends. Nope. So it might just be, sorry about that guys. Um, but I would guess the fees on this would probably be about six bucks. So I, to be honest with you, I'm not sure how much money they're making on this. I mean, unless they're getting it for like 50 cents each a blanket, I don't know what I would have to do is I would have to go over to Alibaba and check out some manufacturers to see what they're pricing these items at. But, uh, you know, that's, that's one of the things about private label as well. One of the downsides is Amazon, they do take a good amount of fees. So you have your fees from Amazon. You have to cover your shipping costs. You've got your pay-per-click, right? It's advertising. You've got to do giveaways to get reviews and everything. And obviously, you have to make a profit. So I don't think this seller's making a ton of money. They may, they may be utilizing a strategy right now where they have lowered the price to increase sales and drive um, sales velocity, which in turn would help with sales rank, which would in turn help with long-term profitability of a product. Um, selling on Amazon. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. But again, if I click the, the Jungle Scout Chrome extension, uh, 3,000 ranks selling 538 times estimated with $8,000 uh, plus 
revenue right here. So that's one of the great things about this tool is you can see what the competition is doing. You can see, you know, the estimated sales, the estimated profit. So you can start to kind of run your numbers, right? You don't want to get into a private label product where, um, you know, you, you go through all the motions and everything. And then, you know, there's not enough profit at the end of the day. You need to know what the fees are. You need to know what the competition is selling it for. Um, how can you add more value? Because you don't have to necessarily be, from my understanding, what I've learned from other experts is you don't have to necessarily be the lowest price, but you do have to find a space in that market, right? Are you going to be the Walmart of that product? Or are you going to be the, the Burberry of that product? You know what I mean? So Jack O'Man is saying, one thing I'm confused about private labeling is how is there not a patent on these products that the creator is not stopping somebody from branding their product? Um, Colt, to get a patent. It's expensive. It takes years. And a patent has to be super specific from, from my understanding. So there's thousands, there's millions of products out there that aren't patented that are essentially open for the free market. Um, you know, I'm obviously I'm not a lawyer. I don't know, you know, fully the ins and outs. But um, yeah, it's from my understanding, it's very difficult to get a patent specifically. And a lot of these items, you can you can really just come in and they're just open for the taking. You can brand them yourself. You can improve upon them. You can make them unique in, in a way and put your own brand on it. So I know it sounds a little like, really, that's possible, but it is. And thousands and thousands of people are doing it. So Amy says, you rock raking. I'm amazed by this community. It reminds me of the best uh, gaming guilds I've been in. That's awesome. Super cool. Rohan, what's up, Rohan? We got Gerson in the house from Miami. Welcome to Miami. Sam says, what would be a solid starting investment for some of the products you were looking at? I actually just interviewed, it was episode 19 of the Rake and Profit show. I know we're only at 13, but I've got about three weeks of Rake and Profit shows recorded. But uh, the other day, you, you guys haven't seen it yet, but I interviewed a seven-figure Amazon private label seller. His name is Liron. He actually is partnered with with Andy Slamans of amazingfreedom.com and they have a course and they teach people as well but um he told me everybody has a different question in terms of like how much money do you need to start some people say 1500 he said he recommended $5000 uh to get started i asked him how much should you have in a bank for somebody brand new to get started he said $5000 which i think is a good number because obviously you're going to need to buy the products, right? You're going to need to have money for pay-per-click, um, obviously shipping and stuff like that. And then there's going to be some cash flow issues where half of your products, but then you need to pay to get more products sent in. So when those sell out, you don't have any timing issues. Because one of the worst things that I've heard about private label, one of the, the downsides is if you don't get your products in in time and you go out of stock, you're going to lose your sales velocity and then you're going to lose your ranking in the search engine for your product. So there could be some cash flow issues. So I think $5,000 is a, is a good starting point. Um, if you only have a thousand or 1500, I would probably continue just thrifting and going to Salvation Army and, you know, flipping clothes on eBay and retail arbitrage and stuff like that. And then I would probably work up to private label. I think $5,000 is a good conservative number right there. Would the listing have a trademark if it has a patent? I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you. I know a trademark, and in in, I think a trademark is based on a, on a brand, right? So I think you could trademark a brand. I don't know if you could trademark like a, like a product category. I'm just not 100% sure. I wish I could help you with that one. How do you find out if it's patented? I believe you can go to USPTO.gov and you can look up to see if it's trademarked or patented. That's what I do for Merch by Amazon. So I looked that up, USPTO.gov. I believe that's the website. So definitely check that out. Uh, let's move on to another product. Um, here we have a, this is actually a really cool listing. This is a private label brand, a Targer. This is a barbecue grill oven Um Cooking gloves, you have meat claws, you have uh, silicone gloves and thermometer and a basting brush. You have all these things lotted together. So essentially what this seller did was they said, okay, I know that my customer wants these items. I'm going to source them from, from manufacturers or maybe a single manufacturer. I'm going to put them in a bundle and I'm going to create a bundle listing. And uh, you can already tell that this private label seller knows what they're doing because their title is fabulous. Um, they've got a beautiful description and it's just a great looking listing, a great listing, a great looking picture. Um, 
That's a descriptive picture right here. Looks like we've got some lifestyle pictures coming in as well. This is just a great looking listing. Uh, if we go up to the Jungle Scout uh, Google Chrome extension, it looks like this is ranking at about 2,829 in patio, lawn, and garden with an average of 349 sales over the last 30 days and a $5,441 revenue with only 59 reviews. So again, are they making money? I'm sure they are. How much are they making? Again, you have to factor in cost of goods per unit, your pay-per-click advertising, your shipping. You know, obviously there's going to be cash flow considerations and whatnot. So I don't know exactly how much money they're making. Another cool thing as well is when I pull up Jungle Scout, based on this keyword, it, it says that the average monthly sales per product is 848 which is really high. The average sales rank is 3,613 based on these item, uh, these uh, sellers, which is really low. Average price at 1975. But check this out. Average review is 359. This is a very, very competitive market that I would not want to get into because from my understanding, one of the keys to making sales through Amazon is ranking, right? So when somebody types in, you know, maybe they type in barbecue gloves, right? The people who are going to be ranked at the top are going to be getting the majority of the sales, right? So there's always going to be sponsored ads at the top, which people can pay money to Amazon to get their items ranked at the top for certain keywords and stuff. Um, but then you're going to have the organic rankings right here. So, wow, I don't know how this person's ranked number one, 1599, 7,000 rank right there. But then you're going to see some big dogs, 718 reviews, 814 reviews, um, 115, 665, 4,000 reviews right here. Let's check out this listing. So if I go over to Jungle Scout, I'm going to guess they're doing like 10,000 a month. Let's see. Wow, $24,000 a month on this listing right here. It's just, it's absolutely insane. They have 4,657 reviews, 525 rank. Jeez, um, that's insane. $24,000 a month just on this product. Eco Grips. Wow. Let's check out this video. It used to be that feeling the heat was just part of the bargain when laboring over the grill. Well, now you can add a new tool to your grilling arsenal. Be ready to take on a full day of grilling, the ultimate barbecue meal for your friends and family with durable EcoGrip heat-resistant gloves from Jolly Green Products. $24,000 a month with these. Engineered and tested by pitmasters and chefs for heat resistance, durability, and protection. Our EcoGrip silicon gloves. Wow, that looks good. Whew. Who's hungry? Feel safe and protected while grilling or baking. Feel safe and protected while grilling and baking. I make $20,000 a month with these gloves. That's awesome. I wish those were mine. That would be cool. Uh, anyways, let's see what the comments are saying right here. Oh, we got a $5 super chat coming in from Mommy Articles. I didn't see you, girl. Thank you so much, Mommy Articles, for that $5 love bug right there. I definitely appreciate that. Everybody go over and follow Mommy Articles on YouTube. Be me a big favor. Do me a big favor. Give her a little sub sub for me. But thank you so much for that. I really, really appreciate that. You rock. Ante says, is Alibaba the best place to buy products to sell on Amazon? It's one of the most common places. You know, one of the problems with Alibaba that I hear from other sellers is that's where everyone's going. So if you can find creative and unique outside of the box ways to source from different companies or locally, domestically, then I would go that route. But Alibaba is going to be one of the easiest ways from my understanding to source products wholesale. Yeah, Sir BC says there's other other business to business sites besides Alibaba like ec21.com. I've never heard of that before. Mommy says those gloves look hecka better than the ones I reviewed. <laughs> Just going through some of the comments. Um here's another item. This is a cool item. This is a baby hammock for crib wombs. Bassinet hammocks bed absolutely safety nursery bed. I would feel kind of nervous, I'll be honest with you. I would feel a bit nervous private labeling anything to do with, I don't know, just babies in general, them choking or this thing collapsing. Like if you end up hurting the baby, you could be in for a huge, a huge lawsuit. So I would be careful with anything, baby, anything uh, you put on your skin, anything electrical, you know, things blowing up and stuff. I would be very, very careful with, with private labeling products because there are risks involved, obviously as, as it being your own brand. Um, but this right here is a baby hammock, only 12 reviews, three and a half review uh, rating, 
If I go into Jungle Scout, it looks like this has 11,000 rank, selling approximately $5,206 worth per month with a $40 uh, price point right there. So um, I would guess the seller's probably making $10 per item on this. If I just had to guess, maybe they're sourcing it for 10 fees or 10, 15 bucks, you know, PPC ad, ad advertising. So I guess they're probably making about 10 bucks per, um, per hammock. And it looks like they're selling about 120 per month. So that could be $1,500 profit per month just on one product. You know, I've got quite a few friends who make a thousand dollars per month with a single product after all their fees, you know, minusing off cost of goods and everything. And, uh, yeah, just an interesting item right there. Here's another item. This is a no shock, no bark collar for small and medium dogs. Looks like it's selling for $20 and 97 cents. If I go into the jungle scout Chrome extension, it looks like it's selling $8,820 worth per month with 122 reviews. Now this is under the pet supplies, uh, category, right? But again, some good keywords. Very nice. I, I do like this. These these Amazon private label sellers who are creating these descriptions with the little check mark emoji right there. Definitely a cool little uh, listing right there, and a great first picture as well. It has you know vibration, sound, no shock, edited in. So it looks like some of these private label sellers are using graphic designers, two face plates and face plates included. You know, your listing, the great thing about private label is there's a lot of ways to differentiate yourself from the competition, right? Um, there's your product, there's your pictures, right? And look how descriptive these pictures are. It looks like they bundled in a, in a, with an ebook, best dog training, some plastic covers. I mean, maybe there was just one of these units for sale and now they came in and they made it better. They bundled in a ebook. They bundled in some batteries and plastic covers and plastic probes. I don't exactly know what all this stuff is. But you know, if you wanted to make this better, how could you improve it? You know, you can you can see the competition. That's the coolest thing about private label. You can take a look at the competition, your 20, 30, 40 other sellers, and ask yourself, how can I improve upon it? And that's what the game's all about. That's how you make money in the private label business from, from what I've been learning is adding value. Who knows their customer the most? Who's giving the most? Who's who's thinking outside the most? So Another interesting item that's selling. How much is that selling again? Wow, 8,800 bucks a month. And the last product is a 10 piece set of silicone kitchen utensils uh, coming in at $35.99. Again, look at these lifestyle pictures. Beautiful, great looking pictures. And if you're thinking to yourself, I don't know how I would like get pictures to look this good. There's services out there. You can outsource this stuff on Upwork, Fiverr. Um, I know Andy Slammons has an image service. I think it's like 75 bucks. I think you send out the product and it can take all these pictures for you. So don't get so worked up. If you're not good with key, keyword research, you can outsource that. If you're not good with taking pictures, you can outsource that. If you're not good with creating really high quality copy, descriptions, titles, you can outsource that. All of this is outsourceable, right? The one thing I would recommend is learning how to use Jungle Scout, which is why I'm creating this video. Learning how to use the web app to do product research, learning how to analyze the competition, right? Learning how to source products through Alibaba, which I will be making a video about that as well. Again, I'm not an expert. I'm still a beginner intermediate when it comes to this, but I'm just kind of sharing my journey with you guys and, and what I've been learning. I'm definitely getting a lot more comfortable with this software and learning a lot. So it's definitely a lot of fun. If you guys do like Jungle Scout, be sure to go in the description. It's the first link down below and feel free to go play with it, experiment with it. I think they have a, uh, I think they have a free trial. I think they do. You'll have to go check out the website though, but let me pop back on the screen. Cool. There I am. Hello. Hello. Wow. 66 people watching live. Welcome everybody. If you guys are enjoying this, do me a big, big favor and smash that like button down below. If we hit a hundred likes right now, I'm going to give away something and I'm going to let you guys choose. Brian Gonzalez. What's going on, Brian? I do need to get back to your email. I know you sent me an email as well. I'll be diving into that as well. So I'll be hooking you up with those, those freebies. I did see your email. I haven't, I haven't been able to open it up yet, but I, I got your back, Brian. Appreciate the love. Alex says, I'm restricted on many things since I joined the end of September. Is that all the time or just for the holiday season? I literally can't sell anything except off-brand items or low-rated items. Unfortunately, one of the downsides to retail arbitrage and thrifting other popular brands like Nike and Ralph Lauren and whatever, like just go out there, Black & Decker, any brand, right? I don't know if you're restricted for that. But a lot of these main brands are, are becoming restricted now, and there's really nothing you can do. Um, you can request to get unrestricted, 
but they want you to be an approved seller. So it's kind of hard. It's, you know, that's one of the reasons why I'm starting to bring on more private label sellers. If you guys haven't noticed, <clears throat> bringing on a lot of private label sellers on my channel. I've got a wholesale seller who he sold $14 million in 2016. He's coming on the show. That should be live in a month or so. Got that scheduled for next week. Um, I'm talking a lot about private label because that's the direction everyone's going. That's where the big sellers are going. That's where the smart money is going. I think that selling these big name name brand products is going to become harder and harder to do. I think building your own brands is what Amazon wants. And I think that's who they're going to favor, wholesale and private label. So um, yeah, as CT Whale says, join the movement. If you don't change, you're going to get wiped out. I don't know when. Could be two years, three years, four years. Could be next year. Uh, but it's apparent if you read through the lines, Amazon's making it a lot harder with restrictions. And there's a lot of counterfeits that are coming from China and different locations. So they're they're being forced to play their hand uh, with restricting a lot of sellers, especially new sellers that are coming in the market now. So I look into private label. I check out Jungle Scout. Uh, I would look into wholesale. And... Um, you know, I still have plenty of friends who are doing really, really well with retail arbitrage, but a lot of them have older accounts and they're approved with a lot of items. But even then, I get restricted all the time on random products. So the game is changing. Um, it's one of those things. In the Sun by the Beach says, great content, Steve. Congratulations on 72,000 subscribers. I enjoy seeing your journey over the years. Hey, In the Sun, I, uh, I appreciate that comment. Really nice of you to uh, say that. And it's been it's been an awesome journey. So thanks for hanging out and, and following along. I definitely appreciate the love. Dustin Doyle says, is there another CT meetup happening? Let's make it happen. Um, I know with the holiday season, season, it might be a little tough to do, but I would like to get one in soon, Dustin. So uh, if you have any suggestions for a good time, let me know. I'm open. Marco says, greetings from Arizona. Greetings, greetings. Brian says, seems like private label, drop shipping, wholesale, the future for online selling. I mean, Amazon... Just for Amazon, like they're just restricting a lot of products. So they're almost like forcing you to move into different directions. So I agree. I think private label is getting bigger and bigger. I mean, look at Amazon. They're private labeling like crazy. Their private label brand is massive. What What's their private label brand again? I forgot, but it's like huge. It's like they're like going out and that's one of the things you have to worry about. If you create a private label product and it does really well, Amazon's going to try to take you out. They're crazy. Like they're private labeling like madmen. It's insane. That would be cool, CT. Well, for sure. Paul says hi from North Dakota. What's going on, Paul Fulmer? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, and the sun says Amazon Basics. Yeah, Amazon Basics is a massive private label brand. Amy says, I'm in Rhode Island. We'd love to do a meetup. Amy, you are welcome. I will let you guys know the next time I do a meetup, I always make a YouTube video. So be sure to check back on the channel every couple of days or so. I'll give you guys like a one week notice and, uh, yeah, we'll have a meetup. We'll go thrifting, go out for dinner, have some fun. I've done about three, three or four of them in the past. So they're always a good time. Best way to product research, uh, Jungle Scout. The best way to do product research is to get the web app. It is the most expensive. It is a reoccurring fee every month, which kind of sucks. Um, but I think it's like 39 a month. So the best way, if you if you go back to the beginning of this video, is to use the web app to search for a uh, specific category and criteria of a product that you're looking for. You can check the price range, the ratings, um, the category, a whole bunch of different factors. Again, at the beginning of the video, I, I gave a, sh a short little tutorial of how to use it. Uh, but the web app is going to be the best way to do product research for private label. And the Jungle Scout Google, the Google Chrome extension, I think it's a one-time payment. That's good for just like checking the competition and whatnot. And the sun says, Amazon is known to take your product and make their own similar product and undercut you and even improve upon it. Yeah, you got to watch out. Amazon's uh, Amazon's like a, a good friend that will kill you. <laughs> they'll, they'll get close to you and then they'll kill you. So don't let Amazon kill you. Badass Bug says, will Amazon ever work with you instead of trying to take you out if you have a very successful private label product? I think I've heard of people being bought out by Amazon, their private label products. So I think Amazon, they will... They will, uh, you know, I think they'll buy you out or team up with you. I think I've heard of it in the past. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I've heard of that happening with people. Paul says, living the dream. It's not 
40 below zero. I'm great. Wow. We got Eric. How saying, what up, man? What's going on, Eric? Good to see you, man. Where are you from? So yeah, hopefully you guys had fun with this video. Uh, I've definitely been enjoying creating content for you guys. And um, if you guys didn't see the video yesterday with, with Jordan Malik, be sure to check out that video. He came on for about an hour and we talked about strategy, Black Friday strategy. So if you guys aren't prepared and ready for Black Friday, he actually put together a Black Friday guide. It's a product with 350 plus products that he researched. He said he put in like 200 hours with his team and his assistants, putting together these 350 products to be on the lookout for at different retail stores like you know, Barnes and Nobles, Toys R Us, Walmart, Target. And these products are products that he's going to be going out and pretty much essentially buying and stuff. So check that out. It's um, rakeandprofit.com slash Black Friday Guide. But before you even check that out, if you, or if you want to get it, go watch the video. There was like so much amazing free information in that video for getting started with Black Friday. So I want to know in the comments, are any of you guys going to be going out Black Friday? Do you have a game plan together? Where are you planning on going? Uh, have you been looking through the flyers and stuff? So hopefully you're prepared. It's going to be coming soon. Hey, what's up, Kristen Frank? Hey, Steve, happy Thanksgiving tomorrow. Yes, happy Thanksgiving to you as well, Kristen. What do you got planned for tomorrow? <laughs> you 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 must have heard the comment with the pizza. Uh, yeah, I'm having pizza for Thanksgiving. I'm a freaking weirdo. Can't believe it. <laughs> I'm never going to live that down. Good to see you, Kristen. Glad to have you here. Lewis, I'm an East Hartford CT. Do you give class on eBay and Amazon? I don't do any eBay or Amazon classes. I just don't have enough time. That's why I do these free videos for you guys. I try to give you guys as much free value as I can. Plus, I don't know. I'm not really into paid coaching or paid classes. I don't know. It's just not my style. It's not what I'm into. I'd rather just make free videos for you guys and monetize my, my time on other methods like Google AdSense and affiliate marketing. I like to, I don't know, I just enjoy making the free videos. So unfortunately I don't, but I do some free meetups every now and then that you can check out if you're in the area, which you are. Just be on the lookout for um, videos and stuff. We got Thriller Gorilla. What's going on? How you doing, Steve? Doing well. Went to the gym and uh, had a good workout. Did uh, We had a leg workout. So I did 10 sets of 10 squats, 10 reps each. Then did some, uh, well, I did a whole bunch of stuff, but uh, pretty pooped out from that workout. I tell you, squats are rough. Uh, KLC says, Amazon bought Whole Foods, and now Whole Foods has a 365 brand on a lot of their products, and their prices are really low. They've had that brand for a while. That's their private label brand. For example, spaghetti sauce is normally $5.99 to $8.99. The 365 brand is $2.99. It's because they're going directly to the manufacturer, and they're buying these things wholesale so they can control the price, whereas... You know, if they're selling someone else's product, that's like a middleman. So they have to charge more, I think. I'm not exactly sure. But um, yeah, 365 is Whole Foods private label brand. <laughs> CT Whale says Steve's real life videos are better than any class. You'll love it. Yeah, I think I'm better with the videos. Natural Mom says, thanks, your content is greatly appreciated. Awesome. Glad you're enjoying it. So if you guys have any more questions, private label or... Any question in general about making money, drop a question down below. I'm here to help you guys out as much as I possibly can. Dustin says the Applebee's I work at is inside a mall. So that's my Black Friday. Awesome, man. Working at Applebee's, having a snack, some good food. I know Applebee's has some good food and then making some money. No Black Friday shopping, still restricted since I'm three months in. Yeah, that's one of the tough things about it. All those restrictions. It is rough. You know, I, I can't believe that Amazon's gone that far with the restrictions. It's uh it's crazy. But one thing I know about Amazon is they're smart and they don't do things for no reason. They always have a reason behind it and they always have a new direction that they're going or a goal or a vision. So you kind of want to figure out where they're going, why they're doing what they're doing, and how you can benefit from it. There's always an opportunity with Amazon. So you got to figure out the angle. Can you sell on Amazon from a non-American, non-European country? Yes, you can. At what point should you incorporate and get a business bank account? Um, that's really going to be up to you, right? You're going to have some added protect protection with, with an LLC or a corporation, whatever route you go. So if you go private label, I would probably get an LLC because I wouldn't want to be liable if something was to happen. 
but that's up to you. I would talk to your CPA or I would talk to your lawyer about that. Uh, it's really going to be different for, for every single person. But for the most part, like if you're just going to get started selling on eBay or Amazon, you know, I wouldn't worry about that until you really get a feel for if this business is right for you, because there are some uh, fees associated with not only starting an LLC, but reoccurring fees. Like for example, for I have two LLCs and then I Obviously, I do business under my own name for a couple things, but my LLCs, I have to pay, I think, 250 bucks a year to renew my LLC and everything. Uh, and then if you if you go like an S Corp, I know there's a lot of added fees and different fees for, for your CPA and stuff. So you just got to talk to a professional, right? You don't want to get advice from a guy on the internet. It's going to be different for each person. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Nothing wrong with pizza. I love pizza. I sell bags and print my own t-shirts. I'm trying to sell them on Amazon. You should do it. Definitely do it. Uh, the thing is, um, you got to find an angle, right? Because if you just throw up a shirt or a bag, like you got to do your keyword research. You got to take good pictures. Um, study success. See what the successful clothing sellers are doing on Amazon and study success. Do your research. Take a, take an Amazon FBA course. Um, so many people, they throw up an item and then it doesn't sell. There's a certain technique and strategy you have to follow. Yeah, exactly, Thrilla. Exactly. Jack O'Man says uh, Amazon is a shark. They are, you know, they definitely are. How many a week? Uh, let me see that question. How many hours a week do you dedicate to Amazon? Do you find the more time you put in Amazon, the more money you make? Do you limit yourself on how much time you're willing to spend on Amazon? For me personally, I'm a little different probably than you guys because obviously I have a personal brand. I have some membership membership sites. I do a lot of different things from eBay to Kindle Publishing to YouTube. So my time, personally, my time is split up. There's some weeks where I don't do much with Amazon, I'll be honest with you. Uh, and there's other weeks where I go full time in 20, 30, 40 hours a week. Um, part two of your question, do you find that the more time you put into Amazon, the more money you make. Absolutely. When it comes to like retail arbitrage or selling clothing on eBay, which is what I do, or selling books, there's a strong correlation between the time you put in versus how much you make. Now, when it comes to things like my Shopify business or my affiliate marketing business, or even like my YouTube channel, it's not necessarily the time that I put in that equates to the results. It's more or less thinking smart. Certain things you have to just think smarter to get bigger results. Um, I could go really, really deep into that, but I don't think it's going to answer your question. Uh, but for me personally, like with like low barrier to entry eBay and Amazon selling outside of like private label and wholesale and doing things like that, it, it really is a correlation between your time. The more the the more time and work you put in, the more you're going to get out of it. Uh, do you limit yourself on how much time you want to spend on Amazon? I do just because I'm running multiple businesses. But when you're first getting started, if you want to scale, you've got to put in the time. You got to put in the effort. So I would do a couple of things. I would figure out, first of all, what your goal is in terms of how much money you want to want to make. And then I would reverse engineer that. How much profit do you want to make per item? How many items do you have to find? And in order for you to find that many items, how many days per week and how much effort do you have to put into sourcing? So that's going to take some time to answer those questions. Uh, but hopefully that answered your question there. How to get started on eBay? I'm trying drop shipping on eBay and I don't even get views. Um, I don't do drop shipping on eBay, so I don't I don't know the answer to that. Uh, if you're not getting any views, you probably are. Well, you might not have a product that's popular, but there's probably a good chance that your maybe your pictures are off or you don't have good keywords. If you have good keywords that people are searching for, you're gonna rank organically in eBay search, and people are gonna they're gonna look at your look at your items, but if they're not clicking, they could be seeing your listing, but they're not, they might not be clicking because there's something that's putting them off. Uh, I see a lot of drop shippers on eBay. They use the stock photo and it just looks so freaking like sketchy, right? Buyers aren't stupid. So take a real picture, take multiple pictures, create a good title, create a good listing. And, uh, that should help to get people to start clicking on your listing. Are you still producing books for Kindle? I don't, but I do have 200 books that I did create a couple of years ago. I really don't put that much effort into my Kindle business. I do run some promotions every now and then. Um, every 90 days, you could run free promotions and do certain things. But my 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 um my Kindle business, and when I say Kindle, that includes 
the eBooks that includes the create space books and that includes the audio books through ACX because they're all under one listing per, per book. Um, I don't put much effort into it. Uh, you know, I make about a thousand dollars a month from, from create space, a thousand dollars a month from uh, Kindle and my audiobook business makes about 300, two to 300 dollars a month. So anywhere between a thousand to 3000 a month through my publishing business, just hundred percent passive essentially. Um, is that going to last forever? No. Uh, was it making a lot more money years ago? Yes. There was a point I was doing $10,000 a month. Um, and then they changed the rules and it dropped to five and it's just slowly been decreasing, but I'm not super passionate about the business. Um, the business has changed quite a bit. I'm not on the, the, the cutting edge forefront of the Kindle publishing business anymore. So I'm just kind of riding it out. But, uh, I made $12,000 last year just through create space and I did nothing this year. I think I'm going to do like 8,000. So it's already dropped off about 20%, but, uh, it's just great passive income. It pays my rent pretty much every month without me doing anything. So that's the cool thing about certain businesses out there, like private label products, Kindle, Kindle business, YouTube, um, affiliate marketing. Like you can create, like I have little assets on YouTube that literally I have videos that make three, $400 a month only a couple of them. Um, and I've created them two, three years ago. I have videos that have something that I'm pitching or promoting in it or an affiliate link, or even like this video, I promote jungle scout, right? It's not like I'm doing a hard sell or anything, but I'm just saying, Hey, this is what I'm using. This is how to use it. Put the link below. And like for jung jungle scout, essentially like someone could watch this video two years down the road. And if somebody does buy jungle scout, I think for the Chrome extension, I make $20. I think for the, the, the web app I make, I think it's $39. So, um, per sign up, it's just a one-time fee. It doesn't cost you guys anything more, but that's just an example. There's a lot of business models out there. Shopify is another great one where you put in the work initially, and then you can get paid from that theoretically over time. Doesn't mean it's going to last forever. Um, some of these businesses have a life cycle. What do you do on create space? Never heard of it. Well, create space essentially is taking an ebook. So say you have an ebook selling on eBay ebook. You can turn that into a uh, physical book. It's it's similar to Merch by Amazon, where Merch by Amazon you upload the design, and when it sells, they print it and they ship it to the customer. Create Space is the same thing, but instead of uploading a design, I'm uploading my ebook, and then I upload it to Create Space. So when it sells, it's print on demand. They print my ebook on a on a physical book and they ship it to the customer. So um, it's just a cool business model, and I actually make. Like I said, with create space, I make, sometimes it's only $500 a month, but, uh, the last few months it's been like a thousand dollars plus, which is really cool. I really want to step up Kindle again. I just don't know, you know, they changed a lot of the, I have a lot of, I think the reason why I'm still making money with Kindle, cause there's a lot of books that I had initially published that I got 50, 60, a hundred reviews on, and they're still ranking really well. They changed the rules. They made it a lot harder to get reviews. So I think a lot of these things are just kind of indexed. A lot of my eBooks are indexed in the Amazon uh, algorithm and their search engines, right? So when they type in certain keywords, I'm just ranking because I have so many reviews on a lot of these Kindle books. Um, so I don't know, like, again, I'm not on the forefront and the cutting edge of Kindle anymore and getting reviews and stuff. I just don't know. So should you get into Kindle? I, I don't know. I think I just kind of got lucky. got in at the right time. Would you sell a textbook that's ranked at 4 million? I would if, if, if it wasn't super duper outdated and if there was a good profit margin, I'm not going to pay $4 for a $4 million textbook that weighs two pounds and that's only going to net me $5 profit. I'm just not going to do it. But if I can get it for a dollar, sell it for 50, 4 million rank, not a ton of competition, good reviews, the book's in good shape, then I would sell it. Yeah. Merch by Amazon is awesome. I, I interviewed a couple people recently, so definitely check it out on the channel. Are you going to do any more books on create space? I'm not. Um, again, I just, I've, I'm focusing on my personal brand right now. I'm focusing on private label. I'm focusing on my Shopify, um, in the green room. So, I mean, I've got my focuses of kind of what I'm focusing on right now and in various businesses, I just don't have the time to go in and, and do the whole Kindle publishing thing. I'm kind of just letting, I'm going to let it ride to the wheels fall off with, with Kindle publishing. So, I don't really have much to say on it. I'm just, I'm just, it's just passive right now. Are they all self-help books? No. Um, I outsourced them all. So I didn't write, I wrote like three of them just screwing around, but I've got books on YouTube. I've got books on yoga. I've got books on eBay. I've got books on Amazon. I've got books on spiritual type things and just all different types of books, gardening books, hydroponics, um, 
I've got a book on like cake decorating. I mean, I just literally, I just did keyword research, found out what people wanted and hired writers. That's all I did. It was nothing special. How does the green room stream income to you versus Shopify? Uh, the green room is pretty decent. I make anywhere between a thousand to $2,000 a month from the green room. So we have like 800, 900 members. So we have some reoccurring revenue. We have some obviously some just one-time fees and then people leave. Um, but it's pretty passive in a sense as well. Um, but I'm definitely making more at this point, I'm making more money with, with Shopify than, than the green room. Um, but the green room is great. It's, it's a lot more fun. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. What are you private labeling? I haven't actually, I have some ideas right now. I'm not going to mention exactly what I'm thinking about private labeling, but I'm looking at some items that are in the kitchen category and also the sporting category. So right now I'm at the step where I'm kind of narrowing down the direction I want to go on my brand. Um, but there's so many different categories. There's so many different items. And, um, that's kind of the cool thing about making these videos is I can share with you different Amazon sellers and what they're selling. So, um, you know, where should you start if you're going to private label a product? I would probably start with something you're interested in, something passionate, something that you like. Um, I'll give you a hint at what I'm kind of looking at. I like health stuff. I like veganism. I like smoothies. I like juicing. So I'm thinking about doing something in that area. And there's a pretty good following. How much do you make on Kindle? Everything, it could range anywhere from one to $3,000 a month. I've had even some months where I did like 800. I've had some months where it's done 4,000. So probably around 2,000 a month is, is average. What do you sell with Shopify t-shirts and some physical products as well through AliExpress and through uh, custom cat? Nope. I haven't, I haven't chosen my private label product yet. I'm still at that stage. Still at that stage. I'm thinking personal care products. Yeah, just be careful. You know, anything that you put on the skin or anything that's <clears throat> ingested, you just got to be very careful, right? You don't want to end up with a lawsuit or hurt anybody. Juicing, I told you steroids, Steve. No, no juicing like that. I'm talking like green juicing. Yeah, veganism, you know, not eating meat, not eating milk, you know, vegans. Are there fellow YouTubers that you listen to? Uh, I listen to a lot of them. There's so many. Um, there's a lot of them. I, too many, lots of, you know, pretty much the whole reselling space. You know, obviously my buddy Bonafide Hustler, the Rockstar Flipper, Endless Entrepreneurs, 10K on the Bay. You know, I listen to Tanner J. Fox for Amazon, Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, a lot of motivational stuff. Do you generally work on all income streams monthly or less? What criteria do you use to focus or evolve your income? I usually like to focus on a couple things at a time at least one thing at a time. So right now, like my main thing is private label. Um, earlier on the year, my main focus was Shopify. Uh, so right now I'm, I'm going really hard with like YouTube and my personal brand, um, and Shopify. Other times I'll focus more on like affiliate marketing and different things like that. And, um, uh, I just try to have one single focus at a time. You know, if you're going to start off with eBay, I would focus on eBay, right? And there's times where I go full time with reselling. That's all I do. And then I kind of, you won't see me on YouTube or you won't see me here. Or you won't see me there. Or you won't see me doing other things. I like to focus on one thing at a time. I haven't used Scout IQ, Eric. I'm not going back to being a vegan. I'm not. But vegan pizza is good. <laughs> Just started on FBA, didn't have a lot of time, scanned one short shelf of books and came home with five books that sell over $12 and had good rank. Awesome, Deb. It takes time, you know. Um, <clears throat> when you're starting Amazon FBA, there's definitely a learning curve. The hardest thing is figuring out how to ship to the Amazon warehouses and dealing with the rules and regulations because there's certainly a lot of them. Um, but just keep scanning, keep going out to the thrift store, keep going out to garage sales, scan, 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 um, and start to study, right? What's selling, what's not selling, um, watch YouTube videos, just learn. It takes time for sure, but, uh, keep pushing forward, you know, and, and experiment with different thrift stores as well. You know, I stopped going to my Salvation Army in my area because they just, um, transformed their store into like a consignment shop. Yep. Salvation Army. Turn it into a consignment shop. It's got all different types of sections now. They have a high end section, a medium section, and a lower end section. Prices went through the roof. Um, so you need to get acquainted with what thrift stores have opportunities for you and what don't. Um, some thrift stores in my area are great for books, others suck. So <clears throat> when I'm talking personal brand, um, that could, 
obviously mean private label. Uh, but when I'm talking personal brand, I'm talking about my YouTube channel, Rake and Profit, my blog, uh, things like that, because it's like through me. But you could create a personal brand as well for your private label product. That's like having a face behind the company. And I noticed a lot of products and a lot of um, companies who do that are very successful. So, right, you can create social media, you can create Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat behind your actual company if you're going to private label on Amazon, which is huge because it builds context as well. Deb says, been watching your videos, wouldn't have a clue without them. Awesome. CT Will, I haven't been able to check out that video yet, but I promise you I will. What is the profit margin on private label on Amazon? Approximately, of course. Um, I know that once you scale up to like half a million, over a million, a lot of the profit margins become less than 20%. So 15%, 14%, I think is pretty common. But from my understanding from friends that I have, I have a lot of friends, guys, I network with a lot of people who are very successful on Amazon. The profit margin could be anywhere between 30 and 50% on average. So I think that's kind of like the, the norm, but it could be wrong. That fabric in the house. I think that thrift stores raising prices can continue to be prosperous inundated their customers or people with little ones interested to see how that works for them in the future. I think they're going to, yeah, I think they're going to keep raising the prices until, um, people stop paying it. And I think it's smart on their point, uh, on their part, right? Because they're in business to make money. They're not in business to make friends. You know, I think what's upsetting a lot of people is, uh, you know, we're accustomed to these thrift stores being dirt cheap because they're supposed to be helping, you know, the poor helping the people who don't have enough money to get stuff, but it's not the case anymore. They are driving prices up to, to meet with these, these halfway stores, kind of like, um, uh, what's the stores I'm thinking of? Um, TJ Maxx and Marshall's they're, they're driving prices up that high. They're going to keep driving them up. So keep learning, right? There's always, there's always cracks in the floor. They always drop the ball. There's a million opportunities out there with, with thrifting. Um, and again, it's not happening all over the world, but, uh, they're getting crazy with some of these, with some of these prices. It's true. <clears throat> James says that's really good. Those profit margins considering retail is less than 10% usually. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not bad at all. Plus you could work from home, which is cool. Burlington coat factory. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a big favor and smash that like button. I think I'm going to close up this call right now because I can already tell my, <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit. So um, thank you guys for watching. Please hit the like button if you could. Do me a big, big favor. It really helps to uh, get these videos out to more people, helps to get these videos more viewed, and um, helps the channel to grow. You know, I have a goal. I want to add 100,000 subscribers by next year. That's the goal. So I'm going to keep putting out more videos. I'm going to keep experimenting with different videos. Um, you know, obviously, I'm going to keep growing my businesses and private label and Shopify and the personal brand as well. And, you know, I'm an open book. So if you guys want to learn about how I'm making money from the YouTube channel, from Kindle, from Shopify, from anything, feel free to ask. Um, that's one thing I really pride myself about. And I want to continue to be transparent as much as I can without giving away too much, right? I don't want to hurt myself. And like, I'm not going to be giving away my Shopify store, or my private label product. That's just stupid. And people might wonder like why, because it just creates a lot of competition. Plus, one thing you guys have to realize, I know a lot of you guys probably don't understand, but when you have a personal brand like myself and you put yourself out there to thousands of people, there's psychos out there. You guys know what I'm talking. There's people out there who are um, looking to take you down and people who are malicious. And while I know all you guys in the comments are awesome, I found that probably one out of every like 5,000 people are just freaking bat cases. They're just, they're just whacked out. Right. Um, and they want to take you down. So I've got to be smart and not give too much. And I, hopefully you guys could understand that as well. Um, but I'd like to give as much as I possibly could. Right. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Smash that like button, show some love, uh, have yourselves an amazing Thanksgiving because I'm sure I won't be talking to you guys tomorrow, but really enjoy the time with your family. Be grateful for all the amazing opportunities that we have in this world right now. Um, I mean, we live in such a freaking amazing society and so many opportunities with the internet and Amazon. And, uh, you know, if you put your mind to it, you can change your life. You can build a business, you can build passive income streams, you can take care of your family and, uh, you know, you could design the life of your dreams. And, and that's essentially what I'm trying to do. And, uh, I want to help you guys do the same. So 
hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Again, if you guys want to check out that Black Friday guide that my my good friend Jordan Malik put out, be sure to check out rakeandprofit.com forward slash Black Friday guide. 350 plus products to be on the lookout for for Black Friday to sell on eBay and Amazon. Also, if you guys are interested in Jungle Scout, links down below, rakeandprofit.com slash Jungle Scout. Definitely check it out. I think they have a free trial. But essentially, have, a, have an amazing day. Great Thanksgiving. Appreciate all the likes and love. And I will see you guys in the next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.